Hello and welcome. I'm Steve from Canterbury Business Solutions. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating uh, how to solve five common contract management issues uh, using SharePoint. Uh, the functionality that we'll be demonstrating will solve problems like locating signed copies of documents, uh, managing variations, uh, reporting and compliance related to documents, identifying uh, contracts which are due for renewal or uh, review, and uh, audit trails. Uh, the features which we'll be demonstrating today are all found in SharePoint Standard and Enterprise Editions as well as Office 365 SharePoint um, Enterprise Plans. Uh, we'll be using document sets, uh, metadata, content types uh, and views uh, along with a few other bits and pieces uh, to pull the whole thing together. Uh, everything you can see and do here today is um, something you can easily do yourself uh, without too much trouble. Um, at the end of the video, you'll see a link to our white paper outlining how this is done. Hope you enjoy. In this demo, we'll show some of the document management features of SharePoint. Here we can see a document library containing uh, a document set. Under the document set, you'll see a set of uh, metadata associated with the document set with some lookup lists. We go into the document set, you'll see the document library feet, uh, full of uh, items. Uh, these documents can be different content types and edited in different products like Word and Excel. Under here you'll see the metadata and a content type ID that we've allocated. We can edit the properties of each individual document and see the metadata associated with the document, some of which is inherited from the parent and some of which is unique to the document. We're now going to edit the metadata for the content type, uh, sorry, document set. And in here you'll see the uh, content um, ID that we've created. We'll change that, save the settings, and you'll notice that it's changed on the main document set itself, as well as on the individual documents within the document set. Next we'll take a look at some of the library features. So in here we can export this list of documents out to an Excel file, including particular metadata fields that we've selected. We can also create versions of the uh, document set. We're looking at the version history here to see uh, recent changes to the document set itself. Um, you'll notice in there the, uh, the CMID that we've created has, has uh, been changed a couple of times. We're now going to create a new version and we can create either a major or a minor version, in this case a major version, and we can put an annotation there to describe what it is. Click OK and it will now save a set of those documents, we've had a version for each item within the document set. You'll notice the new client ID associated there. We can then go back into the document set history, our version history, and restore to a previous version. So this restores all items in the document set back to the version they were when that version was made. Eight items in this case. We're now going to go back to the content uh, library, document library, and have a look at the uh, properties on that individual document within the library, and you'll see that the CMID had reverted back to the one prior to our change. We'll now look at a different view of the documents showing just the contracts documents. And so we're looking just for signed contracts in this case. If we modify the view, we can see the fields which have been selected. And you'll notice one of the fields here is the checked in, uh, con um, checked in comment. And also if we scroll down, you can see that we've filtered this by um, the content type of, of CM contract. If we scroll down further, you'll see that we've also grouped this together by funders, so we can see contracts by particular funding parties. Um, click OK there. You'll notice that to the right of that first document, there is no comment in the checked in comment field. If we now check the document out, once checked out, you can then edit that file without fear of anybody else overwriting it in Word, for example, in this case. Uh, we can then once we've completed, check back in, and as a minor version in this in this instance, although you could check in as a major version as well, so we put a note in here to say what it's for. 
Click OK there, and you'll notice that it now has a comment on the checked in status out to the side. The version history, you'll see that, that the comment in there and the version numbers for the document. And just like the document set, you can roll back the version of the individual document to any particular previous version as well. Simply by selecting the version you want and restore, choosing restore. Under the library settings here, you'll see you can also export this view out to Excel. So this will give you a list of the documents and the related metadata. That was a brief overview of some of the basic document management features of SharePoint. This is available in all paid versions of SharePoint, including Standard to Enterprise and Office 365. Thank you for your time.